Emergency responders in Berks County had their hands full today with not one but two large pileup crashes on two busy highways. And that says a snow squall caused a pileup on Route 222. And that one involved more than 20 vehicles and sent several people to area hospitals. In live team coverage of these pileups, we start with WFMZ's Katira Winfrey live at a fire station where officials just shared the latest on the 222 wreck. Katira? Robin, Wendy, fire officials here confirm 27 cars were involved in this pileup, causing multiple injuries. And I was on the scene today and looking at all of the mangled cars, it's a wonder there weren't more injuries. And I also spoke to drivers on the scene who say this is amazing. They call it luck or divine intervention. PennDOT says a blinding snow squall caused this 27 vehicle pileup on Route 222 in Wyoming near the 422 split. Oh, there was a snow squall coming through and it was real hard visibility and as it came around I just saw them starting to stack up here. Officials say the devastating crash injured several people leaving two in critical condition. I just feel real lucky mm -hmm. that uh, timing was such and I had enough space to stop. Surrounding the chaos, other cars, drivers, and passengers that were not involved. I wasn't even touched. I was in the middle. The cars in front of me smashed. The cars in the back of me smashed. The cars on either side of me smashed. Nobody even touched me. But witnesses say seeing people being pulled from the wreckage did leave a mark on the folks who made it out unscathed. There was a lady that was driving. She was caught in there. Couldn't get the door open. And her husband, the roof caved down on top of him. So. He says immediately the drivers who were not hurt started pulling people out of damaged cars and first responders joined in. Responders were great, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a real mess. I mean, people were hurt. And fire officials say the snow was definitely a factor. However, they are still taking statements from witnesses. Reporting live in Spring Township, Katira Winfrey, 69 News. Thank you, Katira. Now we go over to uh, Tom Rader. Yeah, Tom spoke to a woman involved in that pileup. He is live at Reading Hospital in West Reading with the latest for us, Tom. Wendy and Rob, good evening. Staff here at Reading Hospital crediting a new level one trauma center designation with helping them to treat victims following today's accident. One woman I spoke to who didn't have to be transported to the hospital is crediting her seatbelt with saving her life. A Spring Township woman heading home from work described how fast the weather conditions changed as she drove on Route 222 and why I'm missing. It was like blinding snow. It was just like pure white. You couldn't see anything. Her first instinct? I pulled over to the left lane. Uh, I thought maybe if I got off her, it would be slower traffic, and then I got nailed by a truck. She says she's grateful she was wearing her seatbelt. Well, I sat in the car a couple minutes. My seatbelt saved me. <laughs> My seatbelt saved me. Seatbelt saved lives. But her harrowing ordeal didn't end there. The tractor trailer gentleman came out and he said, are you okay? And I said, yeah. And I said, call 911. And then another tractor trailer side swipe just yeah. piled up. She wasn't hurt. She went to a fire station in Spring Township, which served as a warming station where she told her story to police. <laughs> Some of those hurt had to go to Reading Hospital. Staff members say they were ready. So about 1, 120, we got a call from EMS saying that there was a snow squall and there was a mass casualty event with um, up to 30 vehicles uh, with several patients that were entrapped. Officials at Reading Hospital say they treated nine patients from the incident. They say the level one trauma center designation they received in September helps them prepare for things like this. So this isn't something that comes together magically. We have drills. We have an emergency management plan. And they say they are prepared as winter continues. Every winter we see it somewhere else that a snow squall happens and there's a mass pileup. So it happened in our community. We're ready for it, but be careful. It can happen in this kind of weather. And the latest on those nine individuals in speaking with representatives here at Reading Hospital, one out of those nine have been has been treated and released, so still eight remaining here at Reading Hospital at this hour. Live in West Reading, Tom Rader, 69 News. All right, thank you, Tom. We'll have another live report on that pileup on the News at 6, and our coverage continues online at WFMZ.com. You'll find the latest information and a slideshow of photos from the scene.